Hey guys, welcome back. So you're probably wondering what the hell is going on in Ableton today. <laughs> uh, one of my friends has shown me how to install themes into Ableton. So you're going to head on over to livethemes.co uh, www.livethemes.co It's going to look something like this so cool <laughs> it's a nice uh refreshing color palette uh, i've been thinking of ways to make uh, my videos a bit more interesting because you guys are looking at this gray <laughs> screen uh you know for hours on end and i just i feel a bit sorry for you so i'm just gonna change the theme up and um teach you how to do it so you guys can get that funky fresh inspiration going so how to install themes into ableton 10 this works for 11 as well so for mac i'm going to do walk you through step by step uh and obviously windows i've got a mac um but this is how you do it for windows drop the theme into c colon slash program data slash ableton slash live 10 suite slash resources slash themes dot and then I'll copy both of these, I'll put it in the description, and I'll show you how I did it on my Mac. So, first things first, we're going to find a theme that we want. So, well, just so you know the steps, you find Ableton in your Applications folder, right-click, Show Package Contents, then inside the app, head to Contents, App Resources, Themes, and drop your theme into there. So we're going to get a new theme now. So we'll go, I went to Charts. And then I went all time just to see who 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 are the goats. So let's say this FL Studio theme. Not a fan of the door. I think it sucks ass, but you know, yeah, it looks pretty cool from the picture. So you click down here, download. In the bottom left, it's a little kind of peach peach button. And then we're gonna go to Finder Applications. Ableton, right click on that, and then show package contents, and then uh, contents, app resources, which is here, and then scroll down, if you've got an alphabetical order, you just click on this, I've got an alphabetical order, then you've got themes, here, and then you just drag in your theme from your uh, download, so it's a .ask file. That's what that looks like. God knows what else you can do in these settings. Let me know if you know any crazy stuff. And then obviously we go back to our funky new Ableton and then preferences and then look, feel. And then we've got the new FL Studio one, which looks pretty all right. And then I'm definitely a fan of this dark pink one. This looks sick on brand as well <laughs> all right guys that's how you install a theme into your ableton i'm going to leave a, a link in the description to the website and um everything that you can do to install the theme thank you guys for listening and i'll speak to you in the next one Peace.